The Pacific Palisades is a Los Angeles neighborhood on the west side, right next to Brentwood, and might be even more Beverly Hills than Beverly Hills itself. There is this quote that says, if you're rich, you live in Beverly Hills. If you're lucky, you live in the Pacific Palisades. But today in this video, we are going over the pros and cons of living in the Pacific Palisades. What's going on, you guys? My name is Darren Chris. I'm a local real estate agent and native Angelino here in the greatest city in the world, Los Angeles. Now, I might be biased there just because I've lived here for a very long time, but welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I post weekly informational videos about all things Los Angeles. Today, we are specifically covering the pros and cons of the Pacific Palisades, so let's just roll right into it. Also, my team and I help people every single day buy, sell, rent, and invest in property here in the area, so if that's you or someone you know, reach out to me. But first, let's start with the pros of the Palisades, number one. First pro is that it is Oceanside, so it is specifically located on the west side, right between Malibu, Brentwood and Santa Monica to the south. You're obviously gonna get the ocean weather, the ocean breeze. It's pretty secluded in a great area of Los Angeles. It's not directly in the city like you would see in Beverly Hills, Bel Air, even Brentwood. You're gonna get some local traffic passing by, but the Palisades, there are only a few streets that you actually have to cut in through to arrive to the central parts of the Palisades, such as the Palisades Village, or many of the neighborhoods out there. You're not gonna see people just roaming around that are there for the weekend. No tourists will come in the Palisades, so it's in a, such a nice location. The beaches in the Palisades are also incredible. It is in Santa Monica Beach, Venice Beach, not even Malibu Beach. Some of the beaches out there can tend to get a little crowded during the summers, but the Palisades Beach mainly stay pretty private. You're just gonna see people playing beach volleyball, hanging out, laying out a blanket. It's not gonna be too overpopulated. And of course, it's beautiful. You can see the mountains surrounding you, the hills. You can look out into Malibu, see some of the beautiful homes in the Palisades, maybe your home one day. And also because it is Oceanside, a lot of the homes in some of the elevated neighborhoods get insane views all the way out to Santa Monica, out to the city of Los Angeles and it looks over into the vast ocean. It looks like it never ends from a lot of these houses, and the views from specifically in the Palisades area compared to Malibu are different. Malibu, you'll mainly see just the ocean because that's just all that's in front of you, but in the Palisades, you'll see some of Santa Monica into the city, some of the condo buildings, the skyscrapers out in Brentwood even, depending on what specific area you are living in in the Palisades because the Pacific Palisades is made up of several neighborhoods. If you haven't seen my video on the Palisades neighborhoods video, click the link right above there because that one, I go into the details of every specific neighborhood there is in the Palisades. So it's very informative. The second pro is the environment and the vibe of the Pacific Palisades. If you've ever been to the Palisades for any reason at all, especially the village, maybe the farmer's market, maybe just you're, you were visiting a friend at their house, the Palisades has a vibe like no other. You don't get that big city feel. You get a neighborhood, honestly, a small city feel. It doesn't even feel like you're in Los Angeles. It feels a little more Orange County-like, if you know what I mean. Newport-like, per se, in the Palisades. It's super clean. The environment is beautiful. The streets do not look like anything you'd see in Hollywood or West Hollywood, more toward the central downtown LA areas. Even Venice areas, you're not going to see many homeless, or if at all, because the Palisades is tucked so far up into the neighborhoods. You also have the Riviera Country Club, a very private, prestigious country club there in the Palisades, in the Riviera community specifically, where they host the Genesis Inventational. The PGA golfers play there every February, and that just brings in a different crowd. It's tucked in between the neighborhoods of the Palisades too, so some of the houses you get pretty cool golf course views. And the Palisades is mainly just made up of single family houses. There aren't too many condos except for in one specific neighborhood way up in the mountains known as the Highlands. Or if you go a little bit deeper into Castellamar and Malibu, but mainly it's just single family houses where you're gonna find families, young, old, because if you're gonna be living in the Palisades, most likely you're either going to be wanting to settle down or at least staying there for quite a while. So pro number three of the Pacific Palisades, it, it, I'm gonna try to not say it too often, Pacific Palisades, it's like a, kind of a tongue twister at this point, but pro number three are the outdoor activities. So for the Palisades being on the west side of Los Angeles, right against the ocean, obviously you have beachside activities, like I said, beach volleyball, you can go surfing, you can hang out, by the beach, by the water, or there is also an insane amount of 
incredible hiking trails in the Palisades. You have Will Rogers State Park, where if you go up that hiking trail into that neighborhood, you will see some of the most insane ocean views and just views in general of any part of Los Angeles. There are many other views from a lot of these other hiking trails as well. There are just too many to name. I'll pop up a few right here so you guys can see them, but you guys got to see them for yourself because photos will not do these views justice. So you have beach activities, hiking, parks, of course, many parks, dog parks, Palisades Village has a small park where you can hang out, bring your friends, bring your kids. There's a little grassy space right in front of the movie theater. And then you also have the Getty Villa in the Pacific Palisades, which is very similar to the Getty Museum that you'll see in Brentwood. But the Getty Villa is a museum that displays Greek and Roman art in a recreated Roman house, actually. So it is pretty cool, and it's right along the ocean in an interesting area of the Palisades. But those were just three pros we had to touch on. It was the location of it being Oceanside, it was the environment, the vibes, and it was the outdoor activities. So another one that I might compare to the Palisades Quite similar would be uh, Palos Verdes down south because it is kind of its own space. If you're living there, you're doing a lot of things there because it's a little bit on the outskirts of the city, similar to the Palisades, but it's also a bit closer to some of the major cities, such as Santa Monica, such as Beverly Hills, 20, 25 minutes away. But those were the three pros. So now let's move on to some of the cons. Con number one is that it is expensive. It is not cheap to live in the Pacific Palisades, obviously, because we are Oceanside, like I said, and you're in Los Angeles. So it's not going to be cheap pretty much anywhere in a good neighborhood in LA. Taxes will be high, gas will be high, food will be expensive, restaurants obviously will be expensive. And did I forget to mention houses? I have clients that come at me on a weekly basis interested in specific neighborhoods of the Palisades. They want to see certain houses. Then it ends up being over their budget because they didn't really account for everything such as property taxes, such as maintenance, such as everything that goes into owning a $3 million house on the low end in the Palisades. But if you have five, six million to spare, you can get in a beautiful house in the Palisades, that's for sure. But they can range all the way up to, I mean, 50, 80 million dollars was one of the houses that went for in the Riviera, one of the more prestigious neighborhoods in the Palisades. But if you want to see the average price points of each specific neighborhood, I did, as I said earlier, I did a neighborhood video of the Palisades. Click the link above and I'll be doing much more to show you guys the ins and outs of this beautiful city because I just love the architecture. A lot of the homes that they're building currently in the Palisades are beautiful. So if you want to see any of them, just let me know. Hit me up. My contact information is down below. But let's move on to the next con, and that is that it is a little bit far from everything else. So as I said, Palos Verdes is far from everything else, and I kind of compared that to the Palisades. But the Palisades being on the west side, sure, it is right next to Brentwood, Santa Monica, or whatnot. But if you want to get to downtown, that's going to be a far drive away. And the thing is, there is no freeway really right next to the Palisades. You have to take PCH to the 10 to get to downtown, let's say. Then you have to take Sunset Boulevard to get to Brentwood, then the 405, which is about 20 minutes away from your closest freeway. So if you need to get out of town or into a bigger portion of Los Angeles, it might take a little longer than expected. But obviously, if you're living in the Palisades, you're going to be doing most of your activities, your day-to-day -day life there. Even though Malibu is adjacent to the Palisades, it's still also pretty far because just to go from one of the neighborhoods, let's say the Alphabet Streets or Rustic Canyon in the Palisades, it's going to take 10 minutes to get to PCH alone and then maybe another 10-15 minutes to get into Malibu because Malibu is super far on the outskirts but that's that's for another video there are so many different small pockets of Malibu that many people don't know of you think of Malibu as just this beautiful Oceanside Los Angeles neighborhood but there's just so many different little communities everything is just super different in Malibu when it comes to the neighborhoods and the houses but yeah if you have to commute to the valley or to downtown I probably would recommend against living in the Palisades because that's just gonna make your day-to-day -day life not fun and con number three of living in the Pacific Palisades that is there is no nightlife so like I said if you want to do some fun things you want to go to nice restaurants sure you can do that in the Palisades there are nice restaurants in the village let's say but there aren't an abundance of restaurants. There are nice ones in Malibu, which can take you 30 minutes, or nice ones in Santa Monica, which can take you 20 minutes, or if you wanna go into Beverly Hills, Westwood, West Hollywood, it's gonna take you another 20, 30 minutes. So there's a lot around you, but there isn't too much to do right in the heart of the Palisades. And if you are someone in your 20s, you probably won't be able to go to too many bars. There really isn't a nightlife, a bar scene, a young adult bar scene in the Palisades. But the good thing is, 
you are close to, let's say, Shore Bar is a bar for your younger demographic as well. Maybe the closest one to the Palisades because it's right as you exit onto PCH. But like I said, it is not the party town, obviously. It is the west side, west coast, settle down, relax, chill. I'm moving to LA. I'm raising my family in the most, one of the more beautiful neighborhoods throughout Los Angeles. I'm moving to the Palisades because they have some of the nicest homes, nicest weather, nicest people. I mean, I don't want to just be biased here this whole time, but I love the Palisades. I spend a lot of time out there. If you guys have any other questions at all about the Palisades in general, reach out or leave a comment. I'm happy to answer that for you guys. And that was everything. Three pros and three cons of living in the Pacific Palisades. Let me know what you guys thought of this one. If you haven't already, hit the like button. I really appreciate it helps out the channel a lot. And like I said, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local real estate agent. My team help people every single day buy, sell, and invest in property here in Los Angeles. So let me know if that's you or someone you know. Hit the subscribe button for weekly informational videos about all things in all neighborhoods of Los Angeles. I got a lot of great content coming soon. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.